the older I get, games get more complicated. But I still enjoy playing them. Sometimes, however, I want to remember the halcyon days of my childhood, when all that was required to play a game was a joystick and a few buttons. Gameplay was more important than graphics, stories were barely there, and every game came with an instruction manual. Where ColecoVision, Atari 2600, and Intellivision were the ruling class, and the Nintendo Entertainment System was king amongst all. This is the Retrospective Session. I was holding myself back, as I was saying before, only language and some things I would say. Uh, I would edit out the curses, you know, I would do the Mario Bleep or the Mario or Sonic Coin and stuff like that. You know, stuff like that. Uh, some of the really more risque stuff would just have to be completely cut. Uh, for a while... And, it, you know, it was because I was submitting a lot of stuff to Retroware TV. Now, that is no knock against them. Retroware TV asks that you submit PG-13 rated stuff. Or, you know, censor yourself. Censor the curses, censor some of the more uh, rough topics. And I'm fine with that. It is their playground. They allow me to play in their playground. Also, they, they've, they're really good for the community. Whether you want to admit it or not, whether you like them or not, RetroWare TV is really good for the community. They give a lot of small channels a lot of notice. So you have to play within their rules. They want PG-13. I totally respect their choice in that. And, you know, it made me creatively think around the edges. Now there was some, how do I say, topics or conversation threads that had to be completely eliminated from pickup videos, TGO stuff, any of the comedy bits I wouldn't submit because that was just... You know, that's a free-for-all. Any of the skits that I would do, total free-for-all. Even some reviews. Speaking of which, I think it's funny that my Dead Pixels review still gets traction. And I think it's one of my worst reviews. I want to re-review it. I want to re-review that game now that I have, like, game capture devices and all this, you know productions stuff. I don't like the way it came out, and yet it gets a lot of traction. And some people say, you know, some of the videos that you don't like nowadays, why don't you just get rid of? I don't like that. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, when I discover a new channel, is, you know, kind of go from the beginning. See where they came from. See if they've made improvements. Visually, see if they've made improvements, audio-wise, lighting-wise, gameplay-wise. I like seeing that, and you can tell like when levels of excitement happen. Might be a longer episode. This might be a two-parter. This might be a three-parter. As I'm said, I'm not stopping until I, I've, I've beaten this game. I want to see the ending. Now, I love that explosion. I love 16-bit arcade explosions. It, it, it's choice. So, I would, you know, to get back to the topic that I've been saying before, it would force me into thinking differently outside of the box. Thinking creatively outside of the box with what I had. But that also means, you know, I think one episode that I wish I named it, uh, that's not making it to RetroWare TV. That was kind of a running joke with us uh, when something insane would happen. I would say, or, you know, Chris or Eric would say, that's not making it in the retro wear. <laughs> because it was just something so bizarre, so out of... crazy that it would never reach it. Uh, I think one topic was in the beginning of TGO, I think it was 15? One of the ones, one of the last ones where we went to Englishtown Flea Market, it looked like we would find dead hookers in the parking lot. That had just been abandoned. Because whether some people want to admit it or not, uh,
English Town Flea Market is dying. <laughs> Loot 70 Flea Market is dying. And it's sad in Jersey that those two flea markets are dying. Because both of them are, you know, there's they're really good at not just video games, but just in general. As a flea market. Video games they kinda suck at. But in general, as just the overall cool flea market to go to to catch some, you know, to find some shit. Yeah, they're great. But they're dying. The last time we went there, it was pretty bad. Oh, 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 yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, you know what? You were the tourist. You deserved it. That's the guy I want to save. Did I save him? Did I save him? I think I saved him. Oh, God. I shot her? Damn it. I won't get the special reward from her. Money, man. Come on. Get your mind out of the gutter. Money. This op is expensive. Bomb that pussy. Wait, I've been holding that in my pocket for a month now. And I'm not so broken hearted about him. I mean, I could probably take his camera. And he, what are you... What vacation spot do you go to where there's like four torn? It's... There's a huge army, like... Did we not watch the remake of Rambo or the reboot of Rambo? Have we not watched any horror movie for the last 20 years? Common sense, man! Four hostages only. At least the one guy that's really fucked up, he survived. And he's the one I want to save, because I feel bad for that. That man looks like he generally had a bad day. He's probably been tortured. Not probably, he has been tortured. Which kind of makes it okay that what I'm doing with these guys. Here's an interesting fact, and I'll let it out now, and I'll let you guys, if you want to leave it in the comments down below, if you want to see this or not. When I started the channel, uh, it was shortly, you know, it was a couple months after Ryan Dunn had died from Jackass. We'll get into schematics later about ifs and ands. Him and Zach Hartwell died in a car crash after they had been drinking. It's sad to me because, you know, Jackass holds a special place in my heart. And one of the first things I did was kind of sort of did a tribute video, but I wasn't just, you know, I was interlacing some jackass type of stunts with it. Not many planned out very well. Uh, and it didn't come off that good. It was left incomplete, however, when my mom had her stroke. This basically... That took the wind out of my sails. My, mo my mom's okay. It, it, it's been hard on her and the fam my family in general, but they're, you know, they're trucking along. But she's the strongest person I ever knew. She's also the most badass person I've ever
and to see basically the strongest person I've ever known get taken down like that kind of me up a little bit uh, because here I am having my friends tackle me or hit me or doing shopping carts. Yeah, I saved that guy. Uh, doing shopping carts. Uh, just doing general dumb shit. I'm sitting there doing all these stupid type of stunts and that that took the wind out of my sails. Would you guys like to see the tribute video I did? I will add more stunts in that I've already done since then from the Friday Night Specials. In the Domass... In the Domass videos that we've done, I've done two of those three shows. Uh, I can add those stunts in as well. But tell me if you would like to see it down below. Uh, I've never released it because it was income. It was left unfinished. We are at stage seven. Well, the plan of me purposely dying to get more health somewhat worked. If I didn't shoot the, uh, if I didn't kill the pilot, probably would have had an easier go of living. But here we are again. Clearing a path. Here. Thought you'd already have done that. I'm out of rockets, damn it. This game would probably be so much better if, like, the gun con worked on it. Does it work with the gun con? No, I don't think it does. But if it does, I'm pretty sure the comments will tell me that the game does. And I'm an idiot for not remembering that. At this point, it's like shoot the art, shoot, shoot the guys in the yellow suit, shoot the guys in the purple suit, shoot everything, shoot the helicopters, kill the jets, shoot the rockets going to your face, blow the plane up. I've not, there's not been many things that I've filmed and left incompleted. Not many at all. Um, one of the Gaming Audio Maniacs was completely filmed. Alright. Oh, I should have used some rockets. Really? Why, why, why is the kid running at me? If he stayed in place, he'd be alive. Little Jimmy would be alive. I think we got a better shot at living. Here we go. Once again. And I died. You are fatally wounded. <sighs> Second time. This time I died. Got a lower score than I did last time. Hey folks, hope you're liking the episodes. 
I'm having a blast playing title legends and so much so that what was originally supposed to be a three-parter has turned into a five or six part episode. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to click that big red subscribe button. It helps me out as a human being and it gives me the satisfaction that I did a good job in entertaining you. Also, it helps to get all my latest content the absolute second it's released. Speaking of content, if you like this, click on this highlighted video, and that's going to take you to $15 Challenge Wii Edition. I also do these things called $15 Challenges where I walk into a store and can't spend no more than $15.99 to pick up games for one specific console. Also, if you want to click this video that's highlighted, that's going to take you to Retrospective Sessions, Title Legends, Episode 3, where Thunder Fox was discovered, and quite honestly, was the best surprise out of this entire compilation disc. This has been Dahmer's Cool Stuff, and as always, do good gaming.